everyone, this is Samantha from Scrap Master's Paradise, and today I want to show you how I did this airbrush background. It's just a rainbow background here. So, to get started, I just cut my white cardstock into a regular standard card. It's 4.25 by this way, 5.5 inches this way. So, the colors I used for my rainbow, I just picked out some really bright colors, and you need to remember when you're airbrushing that you need to use really saturated colors. Don't go for colors that are too light because when you airbrush the colors actually turn out lighter than they are if you were coloring. I used RV06, V25, B24, YG25, Y15, YR14, and R27. So they're just really bright colors. I'm going to turn them over to this side here. So I'm going to airbrush, and I'm going to airbrush across all the edges, like you can see I did the other rainbow airbrushing on this piece of paper. So I've got paper to cover my surface, I've got this, and what I did to make these cloud shapes is I just cut out some um, little cloud shapes, they're actually all the same shape, just in different sizes, and I did that with a Cricut machine, but you could use any die cut machine. And what I did before I started filming is I put some Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and little dots. I hope you can see they're a little bit shiny on the camera. I put the dots there and I let them dry. So now the dots are dry but they're still sticky so they'll hold my mask. I'm just going to arrange these clouds across my card so they look different. and They're actually all the same shape and I'm going to rotate them so they don't all look uniform. Like you can see this part has two little lumps whereas this part has the one lump. I'm just going to make it look a little bit different all around. Let's do this one. Hmm. This is the fun part. You get to arrange them. I think I'm going to start with the big one. When you peel them up, usually um, the little stick will come off. So you just have to rub sometimes and get it off all the way. Put the big cloud here in the middle. Little cloud down there. That one. Then the last tiny cloud I want all on the cart. I've got my little arrangement here. And then we'll just start airbrushing. I'm using the ABS number three, which is the air compressor. I'm just going to have to get it ready and turn it on here. Okay, so I'll start with the red, and to get nice smooth air rushing, you want to use your broad tip, this tip. Put it in there, and I'm going to test it. Looks pretty good. When I'm airbrushing, I want the whole thing to look uniform, so I'm going to go past the edges when I'm airbrushing. You'll see what I'm talking about so that the whole thing is covered. I've got to switch sides of the camera here. Okay. And just get started. I'm going back and forth. red. You can see I went all the way across and sprayed a little bit further than the edges. So I got the broad tip. This is the YR14. Give it a little test and do the same thing. You can tell the ABS 3 with the air compressor is quite loud. This one's Y15. Oops, wrong tip. I'm so used to using the super brush. Test it out. Okay. Go all the way across. The next color is the YG25. When I'm doing this, one thing I gotta make sure is I go over 
right at the very edges of the previous color so that it's all one blended airbrush thing. That green. Let's go. Next I've got blue. I'm using B24. Okay, and then there's actually some room for my pink part. Last time I ran out of room and didn't get much pink on there. I like pink, so I'm, I liked that I got more pink on this one. Alright, it's working. It's actually really splotchy, so I'm trying to make it less splotchy. It'll have to do. Okay, so I'm going to do the pink here. And it looks splotchy on that one. I didn't clip it into the... Thing is good. I've got this cloud coming off. I want to go back and do a little bit more green here where the blue line is just to get them to blend more. And also the cap. Okay, that's enough airbrushing. I'm going to turn off my air compressor. And let's take a look. Left with clouds. Got a little bit of glue stuck. Can peel it off. There you have it. Hairbrush rainbow background. All I did was I just rounded the corners here at the bottom. There you go. And you can see it just depends on where you put the clouds, how it's going to look. So you could do this with sunset colors or with just blue and make it look different even than that. So, thanks for watching. Bye.